Hi guys, this is Andina from MacLoft. In this video, I will show you how to create in-app purchase in iTunes Connect, or we call it in-app products in Google Developer Console. If you overpaid issues and or paid subscriptions, you will be required to create the in-app purchase and in-app products in both iTunes Connect and Google Developer Console. At this moment, it is important to note that you need to manually log into your iTunes Connect and your Google Play Developer accounts to create the in-app purchases. We are working on ways to automate this, but until that is completed, you will need to do this manually. Let's start with the one in MacLove Portal. Log into your MacLove account, and in Create Content section, select the issue and make sure that it has got the right title. Make sure it's packed, meaning that all your changes have been saved. Remember to give the publishing date and also remember to set the issue to paid. Select the price tier and you can click on that question mark to see all the tiers available. I'm going to choose one here as the tier and also moving on to the product ID, this is the most important part. This unique ID will be created in iTunes Connect and also Google Developer Console. Log into your iTunes Connect account, go to My Apps and click on your magazine app. Go to Features and select In-App Purchase. Add a new In-App Purchase by clicking the plus button. Select the non-consumable product as this is specifically for your single paid issue. Click Create and it will take you to the In-App Purchase description details. You will be required to complete the product ID, which can be taken from your issue setting in the MacLove portal. You can define your own product ID, but it is very important that it matches the one set in your MacLove portal. If you decide not to use the default MacLove product ID, then you must remember to update the product ID in your MacLove account or it won't work. The second one is the reference name. The reference name will be used on iTunes Connect and in sales and trends reports. This one is usually from the issue title. The next part is the pricing. Select the price tier you have set before in the portal. The price determines the App Store price and your proceeds. The next part is your localizations. We use mainly English as the main language. However, if you have chosen other language as your app localization, you are allowed to use that as the primary language. The description can be your issue description but remember that it has limited characters. The next part is the screenshot, which can be taken for, from your cover image. Rem remember that the screenshot must have valid dimensions for your app platforms, which is 1024 times 768. When everything is complete, click on Save and the Submit for Review button is shown. Click on it and your in-app purchase is submitted. It usually takes two to four working days to be approved by Apple. On your developer console, click on your magazine app. Go to the store presents and click on in-app products menu. For a single paid issue, click on manage product and then click on create manage product and paste for the product ID that you have taken from the Maglove portal. You will be required to complete the other things as well, such as your title of your in-app product, which is the reference name that will be used on the Play Store, and also the description of your in-app product. This is the information about your in-app product that will be shown to your readers. You can then click on Active, and also for the price, set your base price for your issue. You can change your price update local prices, or manually adjust prices at any time. This price excludes tax. For customers in the EU member states, Google is responsible for charging, collecting, and remedying the VAT on sales as a result of changes in the EU VAT legislation. When all are done, you can come back and click Save, and that means that your in-app product is submitted. It usually takes a few hours to be approved by Google. 